On the night of the 24th to 25th of March 1944, the Great Escape took place. 78 officers of the Royal Air Force and other Allied Air Forces who were prisoners of war at the Stalag Lup 3 POW camp at Sagan, today Jagan, in Lower Silesia, escaped through a tunnel they had been digging for many months. The escape had been carefully planned and the officers, who had to varying degrees civilian clothes and false papers, attempted to make it to a neutral country from where they could continue on to the United Kingdom. Only three made it to the United Kingdom, two Norwegians and one person from the Netherlands. The rest were recaptured. The escape was a major embarrassment for the German authorities. The head of the criminal police, the Kripo, at Breslau, today Wrocław, in whose area it had occurred, ordered a gross fandung, a major manhunt. This was probably the objective of the escape. Some of the escapees no doubt wanted to get back into the war, but most realised that the best help that they could do to help the Allied cause was to divert manpower from war production to searching for escapees. They knew that their chances of making a home run were slim indeed. On the 26th of March 1943, the news of the escape reached Hitler at Berchtesgaden and after consultations with Göring, Keitel and Himmler, he gave the verbal order that more than half of the escapees were to be shot. The order was eventually issued from the RSHA, Reichssicherheitshauptamt, the Reich Security Main Office, and sent by teleprint to the regional Gestapo officers. The teleprint read, The frequent mass escapes of officer prisoners constitutes a real danger to the security of the state. I am disappointed by the inefficient security measures in various prisoner of war camps. The Führer has ordered that as a deterrent more than half of the escape officers will be shot. The recaptured officers will be handed over to the Gestapo for interrogation. After interrogation, the officers will be transferred to their original camps and will be shot on the way. The reason for the shooting will be given as shot while trying to escape or shot while resisting, so that nothing can be proved at a future date. Prominent persons will be exempted. The names will be reported to me and I will decide on the course of action to be taken. In Nazi Germany, there was a difference between the Kripo, the criminal police, and the Gestapo, the secret police. It was the responsibility of the criminal police to locate the escapees and then to select more than half of them to be handed over to the Gestapo. The decision on who would live or die was made by the head of the Kripo, the criminal police, Arte Neber. Australian squadron leader James Katanak, who was 22, New Zealander, Flight Lieutenant Arnold Christiansen, who was also 22, and Norwegian Lieutenants Niels Fulgersang, 25, and Haldor Esperit, 23, had made it across hundreds of kilometres by train. They were spotted by other escapees in Berlin, where they changed trains for Hamburg. From Hamburg, they got as far as Flensburg on the Danish border. Their aim appears to have been Sweden. This was a logical destination. Two Norwegian speakers, plus Christiansen who spoke Swedish and Katanak who had been attempting to learn Norwegian. They had probably got past identity checks on their journey, but at the border things were considerably tighter. They were travelling separately, pretending to be travelling individually, hoping to reduce the risk of capture. However, they were all in the same railway carriage and there were a lot of police officers. In their cases, they were carrying escape rations and their greatcoats appeared to have been dyed. The escapees were arrested and taken to Flensburg prison. The Kripo informed the Gestapo. In Kiel on the morning of the 29th of March 1944, Sturmbannführer Schmidt called seven officers to his office. He informed them that a special assignment had to be carried out on a secret Reich matter of the Reich Security Main Office. Failure to comply would result in the harshest punishment, the death penalty for them and major problems for members of their family. The seven Gestapo officials were to murder the four pilots. 
Schmidt ordered Post to go to Flensburg prison where the officers were to be interrogated. Then they were to be shot en route to Hamburg. The place of execution had already been chosen beforehand and it was on the Hamburger Landstrasse near Schulensee, a couple of kilometers from the center of Kiel. The seven officers from Kiel arrived in Flensburg in two cars at around 1300 hours. With their colleagues from Flensburg, they first went to the Harmony restaurant for lunch. As ordered, the four prisoners were briefly interrogated after lunch in the early afternoon and finally taken to the two vehicles with their hands tied behind their backs. In the first car were three Gestapo officials and prisoner James Katanach. The prisoners Arnold Christiansen, Niels Fulgensang and Haldor Esplied were uncomfortably seated in the rear seats of the second car in which the other four Gestapo officials were too. On the way to the murder site, the second car lost contact with the first vehicle on Eckenförder Straße in Kiel. One of the Gestapo men had managed to get a theatre ticket for a friend and he had previously arranged to give it to him. Therefore, the driver was ordered to turn onto Gutenbergstrasse and drive to Hansastrasse, where the Gestapo officer's friend was waiting. The Gestapo officials then drove with their prisoners to the Handberger Landstrasse near Rottenhahn and stopped at the previously selected murder site. Meanwhile, the car with Katanex had stopped at this site. Two officials from the second car had checked that nothing was coming along the road in either direction and to keep passers-by away from the impending murder. The prisoners were led through a gate onto a meadow, still handcuffed behind their backs. Shortly afterwards, one of the captured officers suddenly screamed and the Gestapo officials shot them all in the back with pistols. It would appear that one of the men appeared not to have been hit. He was finished off by two shots from a rifle as he tried to get up. The other officers were then each shot in the head with one shot from the carbine. After the murder, the handcuffs were removed from the murdered officers and guarded by two officials until they were picked up. Schmidt received orders to instruct a funeral home to take the bodies to the crematorium at Eichhoff Cemetery and have them burnt there. Gestapo officer Johannes Post has been said to be the idea behind the Gestapo officer in the 1963 film The Great Escape. I've done a separate video on the life and crimes of Johannes Post and if you're interested you might want to subscribe so you'll know when I'm going to upload it. I upload videos every Friday at 20 hundred hours my time. I'm in Germany or in Poland but sometimes I upload on other days as well so if you subscribe then you'll know when I'm uploading. I also do frequent live chats in that case you can actually converse with me in real time as well as speaking to other viewers as well. So for the moment thanks very much for listening and all the best from me in Germany.